Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'd like to talk about being dyslexic and studying engineering. So, let's start. Two years ago, when I started with Swansea University, I always wanted to know whether I'm dyslexic or not because it is hard for me to remember what is left and right. I often see like numbers, flips, uh, some letters always switch. When I read a book, the lines always moves. So I thought, okay, I give myself a go to go to a psychologue. So I paid about 350 something like that, pounds sterling. In Indonesia, in my country, being dyslexic is uh, something that I know. In Indonesia, disability is a subject that people don't really talk about. Two years ago, I went for an examination for dyslexia and apparently after three hours test, I've got the result and I had mild dyslexia. So, actually it is not her, it is not the worst, it is not bad, but somehow I need support to be able to study and also because I've taken the course that complicated, I can't say it is a little bit complicated, but it is complicated because I'm studying aerospace engineering. However, uh, apart from that, English is not my first language, so I would suspect that maybe because of my English, but actually it is not. Anyway, studying in the university with the Swans University especially, and in Wales, a lot of help that I've got from Student Finance Wales and also the university. So this time I'm going to talk about helps that I've got from Student Finance Wales. So with the Student Finance Wales, they help me with laptops and free tutorial. It means I can book teacher to help me. I haven't used the tutorial because Swans University also have a free tutorial like Maths Cafe. And the Swans University, they help me for my examination. So I will have an extra time other than that, during my exam, I will be in a smaller room with the other students. Usually like 30 people is the maximum in my room and also I have to get a table in the front corner and no one will pass me. Another one also, I've got different paper. So the examination paper will be, the question will be the same, but the printout will be based on the font and the size and the spaces that I prefer to read. And for me, it's easier to read and quicker so anyway studying with dyslexia somehow it is hard the way I concentrate to something it has to be quiet if somebody talking behind me other than the lecturer I would distract it easily this is the end of my video if you like to ask me question please feel free to ask and speak to you next time bye